looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! It is always my goal to help you and your family move more. So every Thursday, I am dropping a movement snack into your ears to help you and your family move more. This week, we are talking about healthy holidays. And if you listen to episode 32, you will know that there were five things that I was recommending to help you move more throughout this whole month to help you be healthier. I also discussed a little bit about your nutrition and what I'm recommending you do. So if you haven't taken a listen, make sure to go back and listen to that episode. I also want to make sure today for our movement snack, we are using some of that information and I encourage you to try this practice as well. If you've been a long time listener, this is not the first time you will be hearing about this. And if you are a new listener, I highly encourage you to go back and listen to episode five called Get on the Floor More so that you can hear about why it is so important to get down on the floor more. (laughs) So this week we are going to get down on the floor and for those of you mamas who are really busy and trying to stack your habits, we are going to get down and we're going to wrap presents on the floor. So take all those wrapping papers, your scissors, your tape, get down on the floor with those things and we are going to move through different positions so we can give our hips some love. If you deal with tight hips, I want to encourage you to sit on the floor more. Please, it will help. It is so important to get down and move through different positions. When you sit on the floor, it can become uncomfortable. So you're going to be moving around a lot. And when you move around, you start moving your legs and your hips into internal and external rotation. So depending on what position you're in, one leg might be in internal rotation, the other will be in external. So that is really important for the health of your hips. So today what we're going to do, like I mentioned, you're going to get down on the floor and you're going to wrap presents. And it doesn't have to be today. If you want to do it this weekend or whenever, that is perfectly fine. So grab that wrapping paper, get down on the floor with me, and we're going to first work on, if you have your your feet straight in front of you, you're going to bring them out to either side um, and it is like a straddle, what I remember being called a straddle. My daughter now calls it a middle split. So whichever, uh, you're going to get into that position. So one leg is going to go to the left, one leg is going to go to the right, and you're going to get into that position and you can wrap presents. Now while you're here, I want you to move your pelvis a little bit and see what it feels like when you're moving through this position. So we're going to tuck our pelvis under. So think rounding through that low back. And then we're going to lift that tailbone, trying to press those sits bones into the floor and lift up and lengthen through our spine. You may notice when you do this, your toes start to fall in towards the floor because those are tight inner thighs. So when we're in that position, I want you to think about rotating those toes back up towards the ceiling. And if you are flexible, you can work into an external rotation of those feet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's quite all right. You're going to start trying to bring that pinky toe down towards the floor so your big toe is pointing behind you. Now, the great thing about our community is that I can not only tell you here, 
but I can show you in our Form Fit Mom community. And if you're not a part of that community, I would encourage you to come try it out. This month we are doing a movement advent and each day we are doing different movements. Today is this one, so sitting on the floor, but it will help provide you a visual of what I'm talking about when I talk about my movement snacks. So that's all we're doing today is sitting on the floor. We're going into that straddle or middle split position. Sit there, move your pelvis within that position, move your legs. It is okay for your legs to go from internal rotation to external rotation. So think moving your big toe down towards the floor, one direction, and then bringing it back up. Try to do this from your thigh, not your ankle. And that is your movement snack for today. So again, if you haven't had a chance to listen, I encourage you to go to episode five and listen to Get on the Floor More. I also, if you like working with the hips, I also have episode 5.2. It's a movement snack on hip mobility. And then here is today's for you. So join me over in our Form Fit Mom community where I am sharing a video of this to kind of help you see what we are doing. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day.